this is uh, Professor Rafi Senga and welcome to our first IPMA uh, webinar. Uh, this is uh, presented by yours truly, uh, PIC students, uh, sponsored by PIC National. It was uh, held yesterday, uh, August 21, and I'll be presenting it again for our IPMA members. So welcome and today I will be discussing what you should know for a successful construction project management career and uh, in this uh, webinar I'll be discussing four points number one is uh, CPM career requires good planning kailangan ang uh, ating uh, career as construction project managers kailangan pinaplano po yan and uh, we will give you some tips on how we can do it properly, especially ang uh, mga civil engineers. Uh, CPM knows the sources of project management knowledge. We will also discuss requ uh, CPM requires strategies that will catch employers' attention. And lastly, CPM knows the ingredients for a successful project. So, what a construction project manager be like? Ano ba talaga ang uh, role, trabaho, and what we are expecting when we become a construction project manager? You know, when I was in uh, France taking my master's and doctor's degree dito po sa um, Paris, I, um, ang aking pong teacher na si Dr. Anbar, he throw a circle. At ang sabi niya, this is uh, the role of construction ma project manager. And this is what you are going to expect once you become a construction project manager. Then after that, he draw two triangles. One in the bottom and one, from the to uh, one on the top. And ang sabi niya, sabi ni Dr. Anbaria is, ang bottom triangle, these are the project team. This is your project teams. This is your contractors, your consultants, suppliers, admin, HR, and others. And uh, sa man, this is your sponsors and clients. Then later on, he draw two arrows representing both sides, the top and the bottom. You will receive pressures. You will uh, receive um, stresses because of the schedule, the deadlines, the limited budget, cost constraints, manpower, material, quality issues, and many more. Kaya po hindi po madali ang maging construction project manager. And the role of project manager is like uh, the uh, conductor of uh, uh, orchestra. You will have your project management team, your consultants, contractors, suppliers, and above you, you have the government regulations. The government will interfere. You will need some permits and coordination with the governments. And ganon din, ang other stakeholder will be affected by, who are, will be affected by uh, uh, your projects and sponsors naman, sila yung mga kliente or uh, who paid for the project. Okay, so being a construction manager is a rewarding career. But you have to remember that construction project manager can make or break your career. Tanda po natin that uh, most of our engineers, they have a good technical background. They started their career technically. But once you become a project manager, construction project manager, you have to shift from being a technical person into a managerial uh, person. And later on, you have to shift from management to leadership skills, especially if you will be promoted as project director, executive, or you become the owner of the construction and or engineering company. So from being technical, to managerial, to leadership position. So CPM is a rewarding career. You will be a experiencing, on my case, I have experienced free travel around the world. I've been in US, Europe, Asia because of the 
um, my because of the projects which I'm involved with, uh, we will be also uh, lucky enough to have a high salary, better benefits than others. You'll be traveling in a business class uh, ticket and a five-star hotel. Nisan kasama pa ang pamilya if the budget allows and good professional connections since that you are uh, dealing with uh, clients, dealing with consultants and contractors. So, what you should know for a successful project career. Number one, CPM career requires good planning. Kailangan po, if you want or you, if you are aiming, if your goal to be a construction project manager, kena kailangan pinaplano din po yan. And sabi nga, hindi po ito basta-basta, kena kailangan binibigyan ng uh, attention at meron pong proseso in order for you to become a uh, good construction or a good or competent construction project manager. Unfortunately, um, sabi po dito, uh, ang karamihan po ng ating mga civil engineers, Filipino civil engineers, are accidental project manager. Uh, they have uh, started their career technically, sabi nga kanina, they are good technically, but when they shift to management, yun, nga nga. Ang problema po kasi ay we are not being taught sa ating education systems, engineering, na sabi nga, three units lamang po ang ating uh, project management uh, skill or project management subject, which is not enough for us to become uh, a competent project uh, manager. As alam niyo po sa ibang bansa, sa developed countries, they have Bachelor of Science in Project Management. And sa atin, since na very basic ang ating engineering, hindi po natin nakukover totally ang project management. <laughs> Misal nga, ito po ay under pa ng uh, business administration, under ng MBA specialization in uh, in project management. Okay? So, as an engineer, sabi po dito, an engineer is hired for her or his technical skills, fired for poor people skills, and promoted for leadership and management skills. This is true as a, as a project manager. You might be hired, since ang ating pong background ay engineer, will be hired because we have a technical knowledge. But since that we, are not, we were not able to develop our people skills, leadership and management skills, most probably hindi ka po tatagal sa career ng project management. Okay, so what is the professional career path and why it is important? Bakit nga po ba importante ang professional career path? And dapat po natin malaman by definition that career is the job or profession that someone does for a long period of, for a long period of time of their life. A path that you take is a particular course of action or a way of achieving something. Kaya kailangan po ito, sabi nga po ni Stephen Covey, uh, begin with the end in mind. If you want to become a, a project manager, construction project manager, you have to start once you graduated from your civil engineering degree. Okay? So you have to make sure that you are in the correct path. Otherwise, uh, malalayo po kayo sa inyo pong uh, plano. Okay? So, pagka-graduate po natin, if you are not uh, careful enough, uh, maaaring you will stay as in technical uh, position and karamihan po ng mga OFW sa, uh, sa Middle East uh, especially sa Sibyl uh, most probably sila po ay uh, quantity surveyors marami pong civil engineers na quantity surveyors pangalawa po dyan ay ang project planner or scheduler pangatlo po ay use inspectors or kaya ay pwede maging QA engineers. Tanda po natin that there is two different things. Tandalawa po yan, yung quality control and quality assurance, they have two different functions. Ang quality control, this is a, a position by our engineers doing the inspections or compliance with standards. And while yung QA, they are more on uh, procedural uh, activities. And mostly ang QA po ay nasa Home Office and QC Inspector are uh, NASA site. Ang QC Inspector, they are uh, more uh, uh, 
ang, ang, ang nila pong uh, susunod ay yung pong tinatawag po natin inspection test plan or ITP and QA naman po ito po yung mga QA manuals iba po rin po ang inspection po niyan uh, ang certifications when it comes to site engineer alam naman po natin that either field or site engineer but karamihan po sa atin sa sa civil they are on site then meron din po mga uh, civil engineers that they become structural detailer or tocad draftsman uh, civil engineering designer some are lucky enough to be involved in civil design uh, like foundation structural and uh, mostly they are working with consultants and uh, marami din po sa atin but mm, hindi po sorry hindi po masyadong marami ang civil project manager uh, sabi nga minsan uh, nalalamang po tayo ng ibang lahi sa Middle East dahil ang mga ibang lahi po especially ang mga Indians they are taking full responsibility uh, they are taking the risk and responsibility uh, they are taking sabi nga sila po yung mga nagpupulsiging maging project manager but as an OFW being technical people uh, mas magaling po tayo sa kanila okay? hindi lamang to po tayo na i-prepare for that position habang tayo po ay nasa Pilipinas but uh, we are uh, lucky enough meron po tayong IPMA Philippines that we are ready we are uh, we will help you in order to meet your uh, goal to become a uh, competent project manager so ayo po sa Institution of Civil Engineers let us define ano po ba ang trabaho ng civil engineers ang sabi po dito that civil engineers uh, build bridges, roads, canal dams, tall building and other large structures so ibig sabihin civil engineers are more on construction but uh, later on I will uh, inform you that uh, sa civil engineering po I, you have uh, engineering path and construction path so meron pong dalawang pathway dyan mainly ang uh, engineering and construction ang pangatlo po dyan is yung uh, academe which is very limited naman po very few ang pumapasok sa academe less than 1% ang pumapasok po sa academe but sabi po dito ang civil engineering specializations which uh, alam naman po yan ng ating mga civil engineers nandyan po ang structural engineering transportation water or hydraulic engineering geotechnical environmental project management and construction management or construction engineering then energy engineering ito po yung uh, seven branches of or seven specialization of civil engineering that being practiced ng ating mga kaibigan o kasama ng civil engineers so dito po makikita po natin na uh, yung pong dinatawag po natin career path or guide so after graduation ng ating po mga uh, batang uh, civil engineers so either they have a good start or a bad start ang bad start po ay uh, when they cannot find a job at uh, since na survival job po yan uh, yung pong tinatawag nating non-cognate uh, uh, civil career so yung pong hindi po related sa civil engineering so maaring some of our graduates are uh, pumasok po sa call center uh, salesman sa restaurant, hospitality, whatever. So these are we consider it as non-cognate uh, civil uh, civil engineering careers. Sabi ko nga po uh, sa ating mga sujante that if ever that they have uh, been involved in non-cognate career uh, related with civil engineering, kailangan pumasok po sila, bumalik po sa sila sa kanilang first love yung pong civil engineering okay and uh, yung iba po karamihan po sa mga civil engineers they have uh, cognate uh, technical careers uh, yan dyan po yung uh, draftsman yan dyan po yung document controller yung detailer yung pong nasa taas uh, ito po ay related po sa construct uh, sorry related po ito sa civil engineering mostly sa design then yung pong sa baba ito naman po yung uh, related sa construction andiyan po yung quantity surveyor then andiyan po yung planner scheduler 
and uh, estimator estimator and quantity survey are the same yung terminology each lang po yan yung estimator are uh, from uh, the yung, yung quantity survey is uh, mostly ginagamit sa uh, sa Europe and yung pong estimator is the U, U, uh, US uh, terminology then dumadating po nandiyan din po yung contracts engineer and yung safety so makikita po natin yung first uh, second column po natin andiyan po yung mga uh, yung pong mga technical okay so makikita po natin okay, okay. makikita po natin that after po yung, uh, yung engineering uh, designer uh, they will go to design civil specialist ibig po sabihin niyan they will um, they will master the civil engineering uh, design they will do some structural engineering foundations etc then uh, they will go to multidiscipline lead design then later on they become engineering manager those people who are uh, related to the construction they will be as construction engineer then they will go to uh, lead construction engineer then they become construction project manager tandaan po natin that uh, yung pong engineering manager are uh, support to construction project manager sila po yung mga yung engineering managers people who are related with design they become uh, expert in their uh, particular uh, design career and tayo naman po sa construction project manager tayo naman ay uh, being supported by our design team and later on sabi ng ating kanina from being technical to managerial and later on we will have our own business or you will be part of the executive uh, team ng inyong company Okay. So for career types, uh, there are, I have okay uh, put here the four career types that you can experience as a civil engineer. You can have a linear career, career, or spiral, or steady state expert, or transitory. Yung pong linear career through time. Sabi na po natin kanina, if you will follow yung kanin dito sa ating uh, guide, your career will be uh, linear. Ibig sabihin, step by steps, from engineering designer to detailed uh, specialist, uh, detailed uh, design specialist, to multidiscipline lead design engineer, then engineering manager. So, ibig sabihin, uh, through the course of time, pataas po ng pataas ang ating position we are taking more responsibility and therefore our grade and salary pay will be increasing ganun din po sa construction uh, related uh, engineers so from construction engineer to lead uh, construction engineer to project manager etc okay so yan po yung uh, linear yun naman pong steady state uh, expert kung titignan po natin, sila po yung related sa engineering design. So, they, they master. So, ibig sabihin, uh, they can uh, complete many projects doing the same thing. Uh, they will be designing foundation, pipe wrap. In our case, oil and gas, most of our civil engineers do the um, design in foundation, buildings, architectural uh, uh, foundations, and other things. Uh, substations, uh, yeah, equipment foundations, pumps, uh, tiles, and plus yung structural, they will do the analysis and etc. Okay? So yung po mga spiral, uh, spiral career ay pabago-bago. Minsan uh, engineer, minsan supervisor, uh, in this project sila ay document controller. So hindi po steady ang kanilang uh, career. Ganon din po yung uh, transitory uh, Hindi mo alam kung ano ang ginagawa So, so makikita po natin that uh, there are four career types that uh, you will encounter Habang kayo po ay uh, nag-work as a uh, practicing engineer So kailangan maingat po tayo dito Tingnan po natin ng maayos kung nasaan tayo 
with relates sa ating career okay so yeah so dinidinda po natin ang uh, uh, relation ng ating career path against doon sa career type so importante pong malaman po natin na as time goes by kailangan nagpo-progress po tayo okay so for our uh, graduates engineers so for our young engineers ang critical po sa inyo pong uh, career ay yung first two years because it will define kung saan po kayo po pwesto. Either you become uh, inclined with engineering or construction. And most of the times, ating po mga academic after taking a uh, few years of experience sa technical thing, a technical uh, role, they will go to uh, academic. And those who are uh, seasoned uh, project managers kagaya ko uh, we are accidental uh, academe ibig sabihin matagal po ang aming experience sa industry then later on with our expertise uh, with our experience we would like to share our knowledge to the next generation of uh, Filipino engineers okay so bawat uh, steps po or bawat position na ating pong pupuntahan it requires uh, knowledge okay so meron pong knowledge gap ibig sabihin you have to update or upgrade your skills and knowledge every time you change your position kaya nga po sa akin every time na ako po ay lilipat ng position from cognate uh, from uh, construction engineer for example to lead construction engineer from uh, engineering designer to design specialist so bawat uh, step po niyan kailangan kinakailangan nakikita po natin yung knowledge gap and through that we can have structured uh, CPDs ang CPDs po or Continuous Professional Development pinaplano po yan sabi ko nga po sa ating mga kaibigan uh, uh, every time na papasok po sa trabaho ang inaaral ko ay hindi po yung aking trabaho yung trabaho po alam ko na yan eh ang inaaral ko po yung trabaho ng aking supervisor because one day papalitin ko po siya, if ever na hindi po siya babalik, or anything na magkaroon po ng abirya, I will make sure na nauunawaan ko, I will be a reliever ng aking boss. Okay? So, these are my desire. Yeah, pag ako po ay nasa trabaho. And through that, na, in, na nagkakaroon po ako ng advanced study, o tinitingnan ko yung knowledge gap where I am and ano pa yung kulang ko in order to perform my boss, uh, boss um, role or responsibilities. Okay? So, tandaan po natin that there are two uh, types of uh, civil engineering registrations. Okay? Meron pong PRC and meron din pong ASEAN, APEC, International Professional Engineers or Registered Engineers. Okay, so yung PRC, we consider them as knowledge base. At yung pong ASEAN, APEC, uh, they, uh, we consider them as competence-based uh, civil engineering registration. Pag kayo po ay nakatapos ng uh, civil engineering, ang first step na gagawin ninyo is to take PRC license by taking examinations. That is a three days examinations. And after that, uh, after you gain experience, at least five years, uh, two years in charge and uh, five years CPDs, you can apply for ASEAN or APEC engineers. Ang pagkakaga po dito, yung uh, ASEAN requires experience, requires report, and you will be interviewed or panel interviewed by your uh, fellow practicing uh, civil engineers. Okay? So, dalawa po ang registration sa atin. It's uh, uh, knowledge base at sa pong competence base. Okay? Ano po ang uh, meron pong reason bakit ko po siya na dito? This, uh, dito po sa ating pong illustration. This just for illustration purposes. This was uh, an old uh, data. It was 2012 when I was uh, new in UAE. It was uh, given by Kabayan Weekly uh, one uh, known uh, newsletter or uh, newspaper locally sa UAE or Filipino communities. And dito po, makikita po natin yung income bracket ng mga OFW with corresponding num or estimated numbers of 
OFW taking that uh, salary. So dito po, for example, ang 5,000 and below, it is uh, 13% of the total uh, Filipino community working in UAE. Just, an, uh, just for illustration purposes, uh, sabi nga po dito, here are, uh, dito po, data shown here are obsolete, lumana po yan, but I, I made it for illustration purposes only. Ano po ang uh, reason po dyan? Dito po sa ating pong kalipat na pinakita kanina, so makikita po natin ang uh, rough estimate ng uh, salary bracket for every position that you are going to take habang kayo po ay nipopractice ng civil engineering profession. So, hindi po po pwede na mas malaki ang sahod ng designer against doon sa engineering manager. Same thing with construction engineer and project manager, construction project manager. So, yung ibig mong sabihin dito, for every kung linya ng ating career, for every step, for every role, as we increase responsibility, at the same time, we can gain better salaries. Yan na po yung sinasabi natin kanina, that once you become a project manager, you have a better uh, position and a better uh, paycheck or pay salary. Okay, so yung po ang purpose po natin kung bakit po natin uh, pinakita ang uh, difference ng, uh, ng uh, position against doon sa paycheck. Tanda po natin that the more problem you are solving, the more responsibility you are taking for the company, it will be compensated by salary and benefits. Kaya nga po, sabi ko kanina, if you want to become a construction project manager, you have to plan it properly. Amen? Okay? So, ganun po yan. Ang ibig kong sabihin po niyan, dapat ay pinaplano po natin. Okay? Ang mangyayari po kasi ay tatagal, tatagal, tatagal po kayo sa isang position. Then later on, may mga darating na bagong uh, employee. Then uh, makikita niyo po, uh, yun, eh, may mga graduates na kayo dahil bagong dating na engineer, uh, mas malaki ang sahod sa inyo. And I have experienced that many times sa aking career. Okay, pangalawa po, you CPM should know the sources of project management knowledge. Uh, generally, there are four sources of technical knowledge. Academe, institutions, personal experience, and industry or yung company po natin. Yung uh, academe, yan po yung kinukuha po ng ating mga uh, young uh, engineers o uh, engineer study na uh, kinukuha po nila sa ating mga universities sa Philippines and colleges. Okay, so yung po institution, ito po yung PICE, or Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers, IPMA, International Project Management Association, we, kami po ang PSKPM, ang uh, National Representative ng Philippine sa IPMA uh, Global. And yung ICE po naman, yung International Civil, uh, uh, Civil Engineers, Institution of Civil Engineers, is a UK base. I would suggest that if you are a Filipino, make sure that you are also involved or uh, uh, a member. I would suggest, this is my personal recommendation, uh, but take me full time on membership with other related institutions. Because they have uh, research and development, they have a better journal, uh, may po silang mga publications that wala po sa ating mga uh, local uh, institutions. Then, uh, yung uh, lead and other so institutions are there. Then, uh, ito po yung mga sources po ng ating technical knowledge. So, yung pong institution, they conduct seminars, webinars, workshop, journals, they publish journals, and other uh, publications, books. And, you are, uh, you know po, uh, you are going to take yung formal education, either bachelors or kung graduates naman, graduates degrees, either master or master or uh, uh, PhD or doctoral. Okay, then plus yung graduate certificates. The uh, universities and colleges are also conducting graduate certificates. Program, yung mga program po sila yan. Then yung industries naman, we have the in-house training, knowledge sharing. So yung mga companies natin and industries, meron po sila mga knowledge sharing. 
sa amin po sa, uh, when I was in Adnok or Abu Dhabi National Oil Company every week we have this knowledge sharing and very regular po yan uh, inspection will conduct uh, knowledge sharing session for all uh, all personnel even non-inspection uh, department so dito po nagkakaroon po ng uh, what we can understand what other departments are doing and it is good thing because we are uh, gaining experiences from our colleagues okay then uh, when, for our personal experience naman uh, you will be doing uh, self-study making presentation mentorship ito po yung uh, in, in general ito po yung sources of technical knowledge academic institutions industrial or yung company po natin they have their own uh, lesson learned then yung ating personal experiences kung uh, mas matagal lang yung, ex uh, yung uh, work experience the better because you can gain expertise as a uh, practicing engineer okay so for uh, competent construction project manager we should develop our project management skills yeah. so the technical skills po yan and sa atin sa IPMA Philippines meron po tayong ICB na tinatawag individual competence baseline 4.0 that we can see ano po yung mga uh, skills na kailangan ng project management or project manager then we have contracts administration project estimating, budgeting and cost management quality management, sustainability and big projects uh, building information uh, model, modeling kinakailangan alam din po natin yung uh, trends, sustainability okay? uh, preparing uh, uh, construction, uh, constructing uh, a structure uh, thinking of our uh, future generation okay? so health, safety and environment or HSE then procurement management, time management, risk management, program management. So if you want to be a competent construction project management manager, kailangan alam po natin yan. Kaya po natin uh, panindigan din project management, contracts, uh, project estimating, budgeting and cost management, quality management, sustainability, HSE, procurement, time management, risk management, and program management. Okay, so sa atin po sa IPMA Philippines, we are endorsing uh, yung pong uh, CM in training, construction manager in training e-books. So, uh, ito po ay uh, ginagawa na po natin and uh, in fact may mga ready na rin po tayong books. So, hoping within few months ay matapos na po natin lahat ito and ma-distribute na rin. And ito po ay... Um, uh, kasama po sa ating pong uh, MSCM and ito rin po ay uh, ginagawa po natin sa RS Management Training uh, uh, Services uh, ito po ang reference po for uh, CM uh, in Training uh, Courses okay? Ayan. so Construction Management in tra Training eBooks and this is also being endorsed by IPMA Philippines. Uh, malapit na po yung matapos. Okay? So, it, ito pong individual, uh, if my individual competence baseline, it has three competence areas. Andiyan po yung perspective, competence, people competences, and practice competence. So, total, we have 29 competence elements sa ating pong uh, individual competence baseline. Okay. So ito po ay isa sa standard na IPMA Philippines uh, published by IPMA Global. Ang ating pong headquarters ay nasa Switzerland. Okay. So three competence uh, areas, meron pong people and perspective. Yung pong perspective, this is more about your organization. It involves yung strategy and governance. And ito naman pong people uh, competence are related with your uh, uh, soft skills, leadership, uh, marami po yan. So, teamwork. Uh, so, yan po yung uh, perspective and people competence. And ito pong ICB4, libre po yan sa lahat. 
members or non-members of IPMA, we are uh, giving it free. Uh, at, uh, kung titignan po natin yung ating website and ating uh, Facebook page, libre po ang uh, I ICB, IPMA, ICB form. I would suggest doon po sa mga practicing uh, project managers and uh, students that are taking uh, project management uh, courses, uh, basahin po natin. Okay? Uh, ito, meron po din po tayo yung tinatawag na practice competence. Ito po yung hard skills. Andiyan na po yung mga time, management, etc. So, it, lahat po ito, ito pong uh, tatlong competence uh, elements or yung areas, perspective, people, and practice. It lahat po iyan ay ginagamit po ng IPMA for our project management certification. Tanda po natin that IPMA have, have four uh, certifications or we call it four level uh, certifications. Level D for uh, Certified Project Management Associate. Level C for Certified Project Manager. Level B for Certified Senior Project Manager. And le Level A for uh, Certified Projects Director. Ang inyo pong lingkod ay Level B, Certified Senior Project Manager. Um, at tandaan po natin that uh, dalawa din po ang, uh, ang uh, certification. So, kung ang registration po ay mayroong competence base at saka po knowledge base, ganun din po sa professional certification. There are knowledge-based certification and competency-based certification. Ang, uh, ang competence-based certification po, kagaya po ng uh, PMP uh, being administered by Project Management Institute of US or USA, ang kanila pong uh, certification is based on knowledge. So, meron po silang libro na tinatawag po nating uh, PIMBO or uh, Project Management Body of Knowledge which is uh, sole reference for uh, the examination. So you, are, you will be tested on uh, this book, on this guide. Okay, sa atin po ay competency-based uh, certification. Tanda po natin that uh, hindi lamang po ito examination. You will go for uh, interview. You have to submit uh, report, project reports, mga samples, uh, you have to a uh, portfolio, portfolio of evidences that you are a practicing uh, either project manager, senior project manager, or project director. So sa akin po, uh, since na, uh, that time when I applied in 2008, wala namang IPMA Philippines, I went to London for the interview. Uh, Nagsamit po ako ng documentations and later on I was uh, accepted as a senior project manager. And nakita ko naman po, nakita po natin that ang importance ng competency-based uh, certification. Okay? So again, kung ang registration ay mayroong dalawa, knowledge-based and competency-based registrations, ang civil engineering, ganun din po sa professional certification. Ang level D uh, sa IPMA, it is uh, taking the examination. So, associate po yan. But once you go for uh, IPMA, IPMA le uh, Level C, which is yung, uh, Certified Project Manager, you have to complete yung uh, report, submit a report, and undergo um, peer review, or uh, we call it a professional review, interview. Okay? And when it comes to global standard for project management, depende po yan kung ano po ang focus ng uh, publication. Ang uh, PIN book is more about projects. Kaya mo po, uh, you will uh, study more about the processes but not the competency of the person. Ang kagandahan po sa atin sa ICB 4.0, it includes person at saka po yung projects. Ang project po ay related with dun sa perspective and uh, yung po sa practice. Okay? So, yung po ang difference natin when, when it comes to yung uh, PMI, PMP, and yung uh, PMP, uh, IPMA for level certifications. 
Meron din po tayong uh, IPMA um, OCB Organization uh, Competence Baseline at saka po yung PEB which is for Project Project Excellence uh, Baseline. Okay? So tatlo po ang uh, main standard ng IPMA. One focusing for the projects, one focusing for the people which is for yung uh, ICB 4.0 at ito po yung ginatawag po nating uh, and next is yung uh, OCB Organization Competence Baseline so this three we call it uh, IPMA Delta okay so Delta po ang Delta is triangle di ba so PEB ICB 4.0 at saka OCB okay so what should know for a successful construction project Career uh, requires good planning. CPM knows the sources of project management knowledge. And thirdly, CPM requires strategies that will catch employers' attention. Ano po ba ang kailangan po natin to catch the attention of our employer? If you would like to be successful as construction manager, kailangan alam po natin ang strategies to catch employers' attention. Dito po sa ating pong, uh, illustration dito, we have QCE. Ang QCE, Q stands for Qualifications, C for Certification, and E for Experience. So, how to attract employees' attention? You should focus on Qualification, Certification, and Experience. Yung pong Qualifications, there are two branches, either Educational and Professional Qualification. The post-education, uh, after graduation, you have bachelor's degree. Very common po yan. Sabi nga po dito, sa pusing ko ng uh, bachelor's degree. If you go sa Middle East, uh, mahaksama niyo po doon sa project, mostly mga bachelor's degree. Madami po yan. And sa atin po sa Philippines, it is always uh, a program of the government. Whoever our president is, na magkaroon po ng uh, libre at magandang edukasyon ang ating pong mga uh, kababayan. Okay? So, sa pusi ko po ng uh, bachelor's degree. So, I would suggest that uh, kumuha po tayo ng graduate uh, degrees. Andiyan po ang master because ang master's degree, it is considered as management and ano po yan, uh, consultant level. So, if you want to be successful as construction project manager, I would highly recommend that you take master's degree. Then, uh, yung professional qualification naman, PRC is good because it is a requirement sa atin, but better kung competency-based registration. Ano po yun? Sinabi natin kanina, ASEAN, APEC, and other uh, professional registration that requires experience, leadership, uh, project in charge, and CPDs, Continuous Professional Development. Ang certification naman po, either ito po ay PMA, PMP, IPMA, uh, LEAD. Ang, ang ibig po sabihin ng uh, certification, it is a third-party verification of your expertise. Kung meron kang LEAD certificate, either uh, GA or AP, it, seem, uh, it will... Uh, give uh, indications sa employer that you have mastery or, if, or uh, you have knowledge in that particular uh, uh, discipline. Okay? Then, your experience. And experience, what I mentioned here is kailangan ng experience po natin being technical, then we will go to leadership and management responsible in charge. So, if you want to be successful as construction project manager, tingnan po natin itong Qualification, Q for qualification, C for certification, and E for experience. Okay? And number four, CPM knows the ingredients for successful project. Successful project. Ingredients. Ano po ba yung three ingredients for successful project? Tatlo lamang po yan. And ito po yan. Number one, you should have good project leadership. Ikaw yun. And I, I would suggest that uh, every time we have a project, we should not micromanage the project. You should be 
more on the top. Kita po natin ang nangyayari sa loob at labas po ng ating uh, sight. Okay? So, titignan po natin. You will go only to micromanaging. You will go only dive in sa problema. But, uh, most of the time, you should take macro management. Okay? And I will suggest sa ating po mga batang engineer, or aspiring uh, project manager, construction project manager, or engineering manager, uh, that uh, you start with the 21 Irreputable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell and um, K.U.K. Stephen Covey, um, Seven Habits of Successful uh, People. Okay? Maganda pong posible lang po yan about project leadership. About leadership, aralin po natin that leadership is about influence. How you can influence your team, your uh, contractor, your consultant, your suppliers, your boss, your uh, project sponsor, your client, your, uh, the government, and other stakeholders that being affected by your project. So, project leadership, 360 leadership ang kailangan po natin if you want to be effective in construction project management. Okay? Pangalawa, good team. What are the three ingredients? Good project leadership, good project team. Kahit magaling leadership mo, but you have a bad team or uh, still uh, unexperienced project team, may hirapan ka rin po. One of, our, uh, one of my challenge uh, every time, ito pong challenges ko every time sa company, uh, especially sa manufacturing plan, that the people uh, supporting the project are not project oriented. They may be coming from operations, maintenance, procurement, and hindi po nila alam yung uh, uh, importance ng uh, project team. Kaya nga po, you as a project leader, you should make sure that all your team are aligned with the project project goal. Okay, in terms of cost, uh, time quality uh, plus your other uh, discipline safety etc so good project leadership good project team at ang pangatlo po is uh, good project processes paano kung ang project team ko hindi marunong hindi i-train mo ikaw gagawa you should conduct uh, team building you should make sure na they respect you not because uh, you are old but you know the job. Alam mo kung paano patakbuhin at tapusin ang project. Okay? So, hindi lang po being technical. How you can influence the people, you can develop the people, o yung pungting natin, and ang pangatlo po is yung project processes. Project processes includes many things about uh, yung uh, project scoping, in ordering, quality control. Yeah, these are all processes that dapat alam po natin Eh, pero paano kung hinuwala po kami niyan? Then, you as a cons- uh, construction project manager, kailangan ikaw mag-develop. Sabi nga, yan nga po ang advantage. If you have master's degree, most of your clients, uh, most of your classmates are already practicing. Meron ka ng network. Okay? So, uh, yun ang pagkakaiba ng bachelor's at saka yung master's. Kasi sa master's degree, ang mga estudyante rito ay mga practicing even, mas matanda pa nga sa akin yung iba. Okay? So, good leadership, good team, and good processes. Tanda po natin that a project that starts bad will end bad. Okay? Pag pangit ang simula mo sa project, definitely pangit din po magtatapos ang project. But if you have started a good project, ang ibig sabihin, may good leadership, maganda ang team mo, at saka yung proseso na identify mo, and you have were able to uh, prepare uh, project management plan, manuals, and other procedures, then masarap pong humawak ng project. You can be uh, assured na may proseso. Mawala ka man, or ibig sabihin, magbakasyon ka, you know that people will continue the project as per schedule dahil meron kang uh, dinevelop na processes o sistema. Okay? So, leadership, project team, and uh, schedule. Iyan po ang kailangan po natin. So, kahit po may mga stresses, may pressures, may deadline, may constraints in terms of cost and quality, 
in terms of manpower and equipment issues na andiyan po madali pong humawa ng project if you have good leadership good team and good processes so yung pong failed projects we can uh, eliminate or reduce ang uh, ang failure factors okay so um, tandaan po natin that we in IPMA Philippines we are here to help you uh, to become a competent project manager okay so this is our uh, short uh, webinar and I do hope that you have learned something about this and uh, share po natin and subscribe to our uh, social media account okay God bless po and uh, more power po sa ating lahat you can visit our website www.ipma.ph or email us info at ipmh ipma.ph ito po si Prof. Prof. Esenga ang gumabati po sa inyo ng magandang araw at mabuhay po tayong lahat thank you